St. Croix Sensory is committed to the safety and success of our clients' project needs throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. In accordance with hygiene and safety precautions outlined by the CDC, we have published an updated test procedure for the odor sensitivity test kit. Details include the test administrator and test individual wearing PPE, the use of a virtual blank pen to limit cross-contamination from one test individual to the next, and the test administrator cleaning the pens thoroughly between test individuals. Please review our updated test procedure and contact us with any questions. I'm Michael McGinley with St. Croix Sensory. This is the odor sensitivity test kit. Odor investigators use this test to document their odor sensitivity. This kit's been adapted from testing in medical clinics. The odor sensitivity test kit contains a series of odorant pens containing the odorant and butanol with increasing concentrations from pen number 15 to pen number two. Two blank pens, numbered one and 16, a blindfold for the individual being tested, gloves for the test administrator, the test procedure, which contains three data sheets, versions A, B, and C, with different test sequences, a test record for documenting each test, and finally, the kit serial number with the test expiration date. Now, I'll walk you through the steps for administering the test. First, you will want to identify a quiet, odor-free space for testing. The test administrator will sit at one side of the table, and the test individual will sit adjacent. The test administrator will record the results on the data sheet. The data sheet has three columns. The first column is the warm-up. The second column is for round one. The third column is for round two. The numbers down the column represent the butanol pen numbers. The test is a common three alternative force choice method. One of these is different from the other. We will start the warm-up with the butanol pen number 15, placing that pen in the center position and one blank pen in the left position. We will use the blank pen twice, in the left position and the right position. The test administrator then begins to present the pens in sequence, left, center, and then right. One sniff, sniff. Note the position of the pens under the nose. The pen tip is held one quarter inch from the opening of the nostril at a 45 degree angle. Now the test individual must select one of the three pens. The test individual will indicate which pen has a detectable odor that is different in perception from the other two pens. I'll repeat that, a detectable odor that is different in perception from the other two pens. If there's no difference, the test individual must select one and then indicate a guess. Which pen? My guess is number one. The test administrator records the response. They then set up the next pen sequence and continue presenting the pens. In the warm-up, every other pen is presented. When the test administrator presents the number seven pen sequence, the number seven pen is placed in the left position, as seen by the shaded square on the data sheet. One sniff. Sniff. Two, sniff, sniff, three, sniff, sniff, which pen? I detect number one. The test administrator records the response and then sets up the next pen sequence and continues presenting the pens. Which pen? I detect number one. Let's review the warm-up. We see the test administrator presented every other pen sequence starting at pen number 15. We see the test individual was initially guessing. At pen number seven, the individual correctly detected the first pen in the left position. At pen number five, the individual again correctly detected pen number one. The warm-up was stopped after this confirmation. Now, give your subject a five-minute break to rest their nose. Round one will now start. Round one starts three pen levels from the first detected pen in the warm-up. Since the first detection was at pen number seven, round one will start at pen number 10. 
One, sniff. Sniff. After presenting the sequence for number 10 and number 9 pens, the test individual is completing the number 8 pen sequence. Which pen? I detect number 3. The pen sequence for number 7 is presented as a final confirmation of the detection response. Which pen? I detect number 1. Round number 1 was stopped after this confirmation. A 5 minute break is again taken to rest the test individual's nose. Round 2 starts two pen levels from the first detected pen in round 1. Since the first detection was at pen number 8 in round 1, we'll start at pen number 10 in round 2. In round 2, the test individual responded with guesses for number 10, number 9, and number 8 pens, then correctly detected for the number 7 pen, and then confirmed with another correct detection for number 6. The test administrator completed the data sheet by reporting the scores for round 1 and round 2. The average of the two rounds is 7.5, which is the test score for this test individual. Let us review. The odor sensitivity test kit is a three alternative forced choice test to estimate an individual's threshold to the test odorant and butanol. The test procedure involves presenting two test rounds after a warm up series. The final result is the average of the two rounds of testing. We recommend that first time users be tested three times to establish a baseline. Also, individuals should be retested periodically to monitor their sensitivity. Commonly, individuals are accepted for odor monitoring with scores of 4 to 12. However, project protocol may dictate specific acceptance criteria. Remember to replace your test kit after 6 months or 50 uses. Thank you for learning about our odor sensitivity test kit. Watch for our other videos on various aspects of nasal ranger use and contact us with any questions. St. Croix Sensory is committed to helping make your project a success.